Truly I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave. But the slave doesn't stay in the house forever. The son stays forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be really free. So what enslaves you? Nothing but the sin. So if you sin, you become a slave. Sin will chain you, put fetters, curtail your freedom. Freedom not from outside. So you are in a, in a freedom. Even, even if you are free in within, chains won't, can't control your freedom. Because you are free within. Freedom is a gift of the Holy Spirit. A free, a joy, serenity, peace, happiness. My dear friend, self-control. So it's it's something to do with Holy Spirit. All the all the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, and peace. Everything. So it's if you the moment you sin, you lose the connection. Then you are not free. So you become a slave. Sometimes we think freedom, freedom is a, the capability to do whatever you want to do. You may do that. But then after that you get enslaved. You get addicted. Attached. So you're, then you are not free. So people can't free you. Only God can. So that's exactly what happened in the first reading today. Book of Daniel. Shadrach, Meshach, Abinabit, Nebu. King Nabuchadnezzar challenges them. To worship, worship the king, the statue of the king, replica of the king. They said it's, it's against the commandments, the first law, worship only God. That these three young men, they rejected. We are not going to slave, we are not going to worship, we are not going to be disobedient, no. Then king says, whether who can free you, whether we'll see God can free you from this, save you from this. The beautiful, the conversation is really beautiful. If you order us to be thrown into the furnace, the God who saves will rescue us. But even if he won't, we would like, we would like you to know, O King, that we are not going to serve your gods or worship the golden statue. Set up. So how free they are. How free they are. So if you are free from within, out, out, outside, fire, water, storm, cannot curtail your freedom from within. Because if the sun sets you free, if the sun sets you free, it's beautiful, my dear friends. So he was, they were thrown into the fire. So in the fire, though the one who went to increase the fire died because of the heat. So in the fire, when Shadrat Meshach were at the Abhidnagu there, in the fire, the king saw another person like a son of God. So there was this fourth, fourth person. And miraculously they were saved in the fire. In the fire, God was with them. Son of God was with them. It's beautiful. So they said, not. They were completely saved in the fire. So this is exactly what would happen. So when we want to fight with the fire, to extinguish it, to, to, to clean it, clear it, no. We want to settle things outside to get in one piece. It's not that way. If you are truly connected, if you don't sin, you are free from within. You are completely free. So, so when you are free from within, nothing can disturb you. So even, so it does not mean 
your you don't sin means you don't have problem problems. You will have problems definitely. But then the way you face it, where you live in the fire, where you live in the problem, the way Jesus died on the cross was a witness. That's how God God used Shadrat Mishaka Bitnego to convert King Nabukadnezar. Because they were in the fire, the whole nation, whole country believed that he is God. See the words, Nabukadnezar exclaimed, Blessed be God of the free, blessed be the God of Sadrat, Shadrat, Meshach and Abednego, who sets his angels, sent his angels to do, to free his servant, who trusting in him, disobeyed the king's order and performed to give their bodies the fire rather than serve and worship any other god but their god. So he believed it because of the witness. My dear friends, this is the invitation today. Situations of the world can crop up. So it, the, those, will, those might become you to betray your faith and sin. For a momentary pleasure, you can betray yourself. But then the moment you fall into that, you will lose your freedom. Only He can save you. So invite Him to save you from that fire. Fire of lust, fire of greed, greed. fire of fear, fire of insecurity, fire of pride, whatever it is. Let him come and save you. And remember, the situations of life, if you want to do the will of the Father, situations of the you will be true disciples. If you keep my word, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Only that truth will make you free, set you free. So truth is Jesus. The Lord is saying, I am the truth, life, and the way. So Jesus is the truth. Only he can set you free. Not the worldly answers. Not the worldly comforts. No, only he can do that. So just believe in him. Just strongly hold on to his word. In fire. In the fire. None can destroy your freedom. Only God can set you free. So hold on to him. He will set you free amidst the problem, despite all the calamities. It's going to be there in your problem. So you are going to be the witness when you go through that struggle in your life, my dear friends. Think about it and have a nice day. May God bless you.